here is the C panel and if I click on subdomains I can create a subdomain on any website and test subdomain and when I do that it's going to redirect this subdomain to, the, to this folder and I can choose this to be anything that I want and when I upload the files onto my web host I'm going to upload it into uh, this folder and if I click on create I would I would create this subdomain once I create a subdomain or once I create a folder then I simply need to upload all the files inside this directory meaning sorry all of these files here will need to be uploaded to your web host and you can do that using FTP or you can use that using the file manager given to you by your web hosting company let me actually create the test subdomain and you can see that it's been created and if I were to go to my web hosting company and log in I would see that there is a folder called test subdomain and this is where I'm going to upload the files so at this point I have done the upload I paused the video during that time and I need to go to step 2 Step 2 states that I need to edit my config.php and set the right settings for the database. And what that means is that I have to create a database using my cPanel. So I'll go to my cPanel and I'll go to the MySQL database of wizard and I'll create a new database and I'll call it task freak one and I'll set a username and I'll set a password I'll click on generate password go on next step and I'm going to give it all privileges next step and I have created the database. What I now need to do is tell Task Freak about my database. And I need to go to the config.php file. That is located in the include directory. So I go to include and I'll see that there's a config.php. Uh, the config.php has uh, these four settings. Let me open this in a better editor. Uh, you can see that there's four settings here. Uh, the database user, I'll enter whatever the user was. I think it was TF123, I don't remember. Um, the password was the weird password. And the database was the database uh, these are just sample values you'll need to enter real values here and you will save this file and upload it into the task freak include config.php and replace your existing config.php on your web host okay so I have corrected the config.php and I uploaded it to my web host and we've already created the database and it says once you've created the database at this stage you can point your browser to the install slash index.php page to check your installation the script will create tables for you and check file permissions so let's go to the browser and we will go to 
test subdomain slash install slash index dot php and we see that oh, we have Tasrik logo and you're going to click check install at this point it tells us that everything is okay and then uh, there are some tables that are not found so in order to get to this step you need to have a good database connection if you don't see okay here then uh, you will not be able to create the database tables so we'll say yes create the missing tables for me and it created the tables and when we will click on launch task free and the default admin password is blank We'll just click login and there we are. We've installed Task Freak on our own web host. You can see here that we have a warning install folder still exists. You should delete it for security purposes. You should definitely do that. Go to your web host and delete the install folder and make sure you uh, note down your password if we go back to the readme file uh, they talk about file permissions if you have a file permission problem you will need to follow this step here I didn't happen to have that and then there's a few editing options about changing the color in our next video we'll talk about how to manage projects users profile and how to get started using task freak so thanks for watching. Please visit our blog at www.gtdthings.com. Bye.